In this video, I'll show you how to create a high converting landing page with Elementor in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Um, so here we are on a client site, which I recently helped create. And we'll just run through a few of the key elements um, on this particular sales page, okay? Okay, so the first thing you notice is we've got a strong headline here, which clearly um, demonstrate the value proposition that this particular business provides. Here you can see it's bouncy castles, inflatables, and party bits and games, okay? And then we've got some strong call to action here. So the customer can either view products. So if they're new to the brand, if they're just um, learning about the brand, they can go ahead and view the products on offer, or they can just go ahead and book a... Um, bouncy castle okay so as we scroll down the page we've got this section here which serves as our features and benefits section okay so here we can see all the different um, products and a few information about the products um, that this particular company offers okay and then for each feature and benefit we've got a strong call to action following each of them okay so if the customer go ahead and click this option here they can go ahead and book um, one of these particular bouncy castles, okay? So as we keep scrolling down the page, we've got some more features and benefits here. And then here we've got a video testimonial of um, happy customers using this particular product. Okay, so we're also reinforcing that with some written um, testimonials as well. Okay, as we scroll down, we've got our FAQ section. So we want to call out those questions up front and basically satisfy those questions and doubts that our potential customers or prospects might have. Okay. Throughout this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a sales page similar to this one. And if you're running a traditional e-commerce store, I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and upgrade the ordering process as well by adding a mini cart similar to this one. Okay, so it reduces the number of steps that the customer has to take to actually check out. And then finally, we'll show you how to customize the checkout page as well. So you can have a sleek streamlined conversion focus checkout similar to this one. Okay. So if you want to optimize your checkout page and thank you page, plus add that sidecart widget, which I showed earlier, just head over to WeSuite.com. Go ahead and download the WeSuite all-in-one checkout plugin. I'll leave the link in the description below. With that said, let's head over to our dashboard and let's get started. Okay. So I'm assuming you've already got Elementor installed. So we'll go ahead and create our landing page and to do so, we can get there in two different ways. So we can hover over add new here and then we can create a new page or a new landing page. In my situation, I'm gonna go ahead and select um, create new page. We can also click landing page. Okay, so if you click landing page, it'll automatically create a new page and it will open up um, the landings page library here. Okay, we can still get to it um, via creating a new page. I guess it's just habit in my situation. But from here, we can do the same thing. So we can say landing, for example. We'll just give, you just name your landing page appropriately, okay? And then I'm just gonna click edit with Elementor. Okay, and when this loads, it will basically load a blank canvas. So if we wanted to get that landing page template, we can basically just click um, templates here. Okay, and we can click pages and then we can choose a particular design that suits us or we can actually choose um, blocks. So personally, I'd probably start with um, using blocks. Well, again, it's, just, it's up to your personal preference. If it's easier for you to just start from a pre-designed template, then you can go ahead and do so. But throughout this video, I'm gonna show you how we can actually go ahead and create a custom landing page from scratch, okay? So I'm gonna X this off. Okay, and now we'll start creating our landing page, okay? Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new section here and I'm gonna select one column for this section and then we'll go ahead and select our um, headline. Okay, so we'll select our headline here and your headline needs to clearly communicate your value proposition. For example, for this particular site here, we can say something like bouncy castles for kids, adults, whatever it is, special events, insert the area being served, okay? Okay, so in this situation, I'm gonna go ahead and select bouncy castles, inflatables, party bits and games. Okay, so this is what we're currently offering um, for this particular product. Okay, and then the next thing we'll wanna add is we might wanna add a hero image or a video, okay? Which basically reinforce your main value proposition that you've added in your headline. For this, I'm actually gonna insert the image slash video 
um, in the background of this particular section here. So I'm going to click on this section and I'm going to go ahead and select style. And then for background type, I'm going to go ahead and select a video. We can paste in our video here. Okay. If we've got one, if you don't have a video, that's fine. We can add a, um, we can add a image as well. Okay. So for example, we can select this image here. Okay. And we can see our image there. Currently it's showing um, the full image size and we can specify the position as well. So we can say center center and for repeat, we can say no. And then for the display size, we'll go ahead and select a cover because we want it to cover the entire section. Okay. So this particular section is a bit small, so I'm going to navigate back over to layout and then for the height, I'm going to go ahead and set a minimum height. Okay. And we can set a minimum height of, yeah, this looks fine. So we'll just say um, 728. Okay. We don't want this image to take too much away from our headline. So I'm going to add a slight um, background overlay on this image. Okay. So we'll navigate back here and then where it says background overlay, I'm going to go ahead and select a color. I'm going to select a white slash gray overlay. Okay. And then for the title, we'll change the color. So I'll just click on this um, title section here. And then we'll select um, color and then we can set this to to white for now. And I just noticed where it says content here. This is set, set to H2. So we just want to change this to H1 because it's our main heading. Okay. And I'm actually going to add a bit of padding here as well. So I'll navigate to advance and then to the right, we will add um, a bit of padding. Okay. So that looks fine. So as I mentioned, we can add a video, right? So we'll just insert our video link here. And in the event that the video doesn't load, we can add a fallback image here. Okay. But I'll just set it to um, image for now. Okay. And then we're going to actually clean up here. It's trying to show um, the landing page title. So I'm going to click on this settings icon here. And then for where it says high title, I'm going to enable this option. Okay. And now this looks loads better. Okay. So the next step is we want to actually list out our features and benefits. Okay. And basically draw customers into why they might want to choose our product or service. Okay. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and add a new section. So we'll just click this plus icon here and I'm going to add a free column section. Okay. So now we'll click on elements. Okay. So we'll go ahead and navigate down to where it says icon um, box, and then we can just paste it in this section here. And what we can actually do is we can duplicate this three times. Well, personally, what I recommend is just to style it first. And once you're happy with the styling, then duplicate it. And then we can just drag it and drop it in the relevant um, columns like this. Okay. And this is how we can start to add our features and benefits. But before we actually do that, I think it makes sense to add a sub headline as well. So I'm just going to add a sub headline above this section. And to do so, I'm just going to click this plus icon here and I'm going to go ahead and add this column here. Okay. And in here we can click on a heading and we can add our sub heading here. Okay. And I'm just going to click on this section and we want to add a bit of margin because currently this is way too close to our hero section. Okay. So I'll click on advance. So I've clicked on this section now advance and I'm going to unlink these values. And then at the top, I'm going to say add 50 pixels. Okay. I'm not happy with that one. So I'm going to say add 80 pixels. Okay. And this looks loads better. So I'm going to say our featured products. And this is fine as a H2. Okay. So we can leave that as it is. And then we can just list out our features and benefits. So again, here it's up to you to decide on the styling, right? So if we wanted, we could just add a new section and then we can just basically add our sales type copy. Okay. So this is what you'll typically see in traditional, um, direct marketing. Okay. So essentially we'll basically call out the problem exaggerate the problem and then introduce a solution, right? And try to close um, customers that way. Okay. So I'm going to X off this section. So I'll just, as I said, the features and benefits section is totally up to you. If you're stuck on um, design ideas, you can click this add template option, and then you can select blocks here, and then we can navigate down to where it says um, features. Okay. And you can choose from these designs. Okay. So you can choose from any of these designs and then you can go ahead and customize it to suit what it is you're offering.
Okay, so I'm going to switch this info box. So I've added um, Power Pack. It's an Elementor plugin, which basically adds a few different styling. So, so I'm just going to search for info box. Okay, and this is powered by the Power Pack plugin. Again, I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, so here, instead of showing an icon, I'm going to show an image, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and select, um, I'll select this image here. Click insert, and then we can go ahead and fill in the content, okay? So we can add the title, we can add our subtitle, and then we can go ahead and add, and we can go ahead and add our description, okay? Okay, so now we'll customize the styling. Okay, again, we'll unlink these values and then we'll say for the padding, we'll add 25 pixels at the top and 25 to the right and then 30 at the bottom and then 25 to the left. Okay, we'll go ahead and add a border. We'll say solid and then we'll set the border to seven pixels. And then for the border radius, we'll say 30 pixels each side, okay? And we'll go ahead and edit the color of the border as well. Okay, so that's our info box styling for the image or for the icon. We'll also add a border radius. This time we'll say 20 pixels. Okay, so we've got this rounded effect here. Okay, for spacing, we'll set this to five pixels. Okay, then we can customize the typography. So we can change our font styling for the size. We'll go ahead and change this to REM and I'm going to set this to 1.3. For the weight, we'll set this to 600. Line height, we'll set this to EM and then it will be 1.2. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and customize our subhead in here. So I'll just change the font size. So again, we can select REM here. And then we can just go ahead and customize the font size to suit our requirement, okay? Okay, and since we've got the styling on this one, we can actually delete these and then we can duplicate this again, okay? Okay, so we'll drag and drop it to this column and then we'd actually just go through and swap out the copy for each of these, but just for time purposes, I won't go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm gonna duplicate this section Okay, and that looks fine. So this is our features and benefits section. Here we're actually um, displaying. So here we're actually showcasing the different products that we've got on offer, okay? Okay, and if we wanted, we can go ahead and add um, an extra bit of copy here as well. Okay, and now we'll go ahead and add our call to action. Okay, so how you do this is totally up to you. So I'm just gonna add a new section. And I'll add some copy here. So I'll add a title and then I'll go ahead and add a button as well. For the CTA, you want to add a strong call to action. So I'm going to say something like, okay, I'm going to send to this and I want to actually transfer them. Okay, so I'll just say, give us a ring today to check availability. And then for our button, we'll go ahead and center align this as well. And I want to go ahead and change the size from small to large seems fine so this this looks fine and then we can add our call to action here so we can say call us now okay and then we'll go ahead and customize the button styling so we'll navigate to style and then here we can customize the background and then i want to add some padding to this particular button so again i'm going to unlink the values and then for top i'm going to say 10 let's say 15 okay same for the bottom we'll say 15 and then for the sides we'll say 40 uh, maybe a bit more maybe 50 and then 50 on the other side as well okay so that looks fine okay so now we can actually add some padding to this section so again we'll navigate to advance so i've just clicked on this section here We'll navigate to advance okay and then for margin we'll select um, a top here we'll make sure we unlink this section and then we'll say 80 again maybe this time we want to say 100 um, pixels okay and for this entire section here for this column i'm going to change the background styling so i'm going to say okay so i'm going to select this grayish color here okay and then i'll navigate to advance Okay, then we'll navigate down to border 
and then for a border radius I'm gonna say 25 pixels and now we've got this nice roundish color okay so this is our call to action and we can add multiple call to action throughout as well okay so I think in our intro we actually added a extra um, call to action here which makes sense so we'll go ahead and do this now um, so we'll select inner section and then we'll add it here okay and then we'll just go ahead and add our custom button so I'm going to duplicate this button that we've created down here and I'll drag and drop it in here okay and then I'll duplicate this as well so then we can have two strong call to action so I'm going to change the alignment on this one so I'm going to set this to align left and then I'm going to set this one to align right sorry left as well then I'm just going to change the column width just like this okay so we can have a call to action which says call us and then we've got a call to action which says um, a view product and the reason for this is let's say it's a new customer and they have no idea what it is we actually offer so it makes sense that they actually view the product first and then they'll give us a call after if they're happy with what we're offering right or whether it's a returning customer and they have some kind of familiarity with our brand then it makes sense to just give them um, a direct link to get in contact with us okay if that's what they're trying to do okay so we've got our call to action here we can customize the button styling as well but i'll leave that up to you to go ahead and um, play with okay so now the next thing we want to do is we want to add our testimonials or any other social proof we have, whether that's a particular award, social comment, press, we can go ahead and add it. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some testimonials. So again, we'll click this plus icon here, add a new section. Okay. So now I'm going to click on this um, menu option here, and then we'll just search for testimonials. Again, you can use the default testimonials, but I'm going to actually use the testimonials by Powerpack, okay? Just because it's got a particular styling, which I want to add to um, this landing page, okay? So again, just like before, we'll go ahead and add some margin to this section. So we'll unlink this value here, and then at the top, we'll say 80 pixels, okay? In fact, we'll say 100 pixels, and that looks fine. So now we can go back to customizing our testimonial. Um, I'm going to select a grid style testimonial. Okay, that looks fine. Okay, so okay, so I'm going to change the skin to skin two, the content style to bubble. Okay, and this looks fine. Okay, so we can again we can add more advanced styling for timing sake. I'm going to just add um, a minor bit of styling on. Okay, so we'll just customize this testimonial section slightly. So we we'll just navigate to style, and then for the border color, I'm going to go ahead and add a border around um, this testimonial. Now we can change the color as well. Okay, for the width, I'm going to say 7. And for the radius, I'm going to say 15. Okay, so I'm going to add a background color to this section here. And I'm just going to set this to white, okay? Okay, so we'll click content. And for the background color, I'm going to set this to white as well. Okay, and that looks fine. So this is our um, testimonial section. If you wanted, we could add a video review as well. We can add a video testimonial. So we could just add a new section and we'll select, we'll search for video and we'll just drag and drop this video element here. Okay. And this could potentially be a um, video testimonial. So I'm going to add a bit of margin. We'll say 100 again. So if you wanted, you could add a guarantee. So again, it depends on the type of product that you're offering okay so you might want to offer a 30 day money back guarantee if you don't get x result following xyz then you'll get your money back with x amount okay so you just want to add a risk um, reversal um, somewhere within your copy okay so i'm just going to skip this section for now and then we'll just add our faq and then finish up okay so to add our faq we'll go ahead and add a new section again so again we'll add this section here and then this time we'll add a title okay and then we can name this one faq okay okay and now to actually add our faq okay so i'm going to search for accordion or even toggle could work but i'll choose uh, we'll choose toggle actually okay and then here you can just add your frequently asked questions okay so for example for this item list so we can say do you offer a free trial, for example? And then in the description section, you'll just add the answer. Okay, and that's how you'll add your FAQ. 
Okay, so just to recap, we've added our headline to communicate our value proposition. Again, we've added a feature image to further reinforce that value proposition. We've added some strong call to actions above the fold. Okay, when we scroll down, we can see our features and benefits. So these are the different products that we offer. And then we just add in some extra information on the particular product, okay? Scrolling down, we've got a strong call to action here. Then we've got some customer testimonials. Okay, we can also add um, video testimonials as well. And then we can also add in some kind of risk reversal, which we haven't done in this particular sales page. We've also added a frequently asked um, section here as well. Okay, and those are the key component of a high converting um, sales page. Okay, as for the footer section and the header section, I'm assuming you've already um, got that sorted. If not, I'll leave a link um, on screen and in the description below of a tutorial creating a um, website with Elemental. Okay, and before we sign out, we just want to make sure everything's um, mobile ready as well. So we'll just click on responsive mode and then we'll just click through and just make sure everything's displaying as it should. Anything that isn't displaying as it should, for example, this text here, we'll just click into this section and if you can see here, it's showing um, a mobile. So anything you edit will only take effect on a mobile version. So we can click style, then we can customize the typography and then we can just go ahead and customize it appropriately for the mobile version. Same again with here. Here we're editing a mobile version. It makes sense if this button was actually centered. So we'll go ahead and center both of these and then we'll just scroll down the page if we want it as well, we can just center this one as well. I think it makes sense since everything's centered here. So you just scroll down and just go through each element and just make sure it looks um, fine on mobile devices as well. Okay, so as I mentioned in the intro as well, I'll show you how to add this site cart area here and also how to optimize the checkout um, process, okay? So assuming you've downloaded the WeSuite all-in-one checkout plugin, you just upload that plugin. So you just go to plugins, add new, then you'll see this WeSuite menu here, navigate to all-in-one checkout, okay? And then you'll see this mini car option here. Just go ahead and enable the mini car option. Um, we'll get to specify the position of the mini cart and then we can also um, show um, order bumps within the mini cart. We can enable a coupon field and so on. Okay. Free shipping progress bar if you want to enable that option. And then we can actually further customize the checkout design. Okay. So we'll just enable this option, save changes, and then that will give us our sidebar section. Okay. Which is this here. So if you want to customize the checkout experience, you'll just click um, create new checkout and that will just add a new checkout form. Okay. So once you've done so, it'll redirect you to this page here. And then from here, you can actually customize the checkout fields. So for example, we can add new fields here. We can just drag and drop it. We can rearrange a field and we can also remove field as well or just hide the particular field. OK, when it comes to design, if you wanted to add um, a multi step checkout, just click this plus option here and then you'll be able to add a new step. OK, in terms of the design, we'll just navigate to this design tab here and then you can choose from our pre designed um, templates. OK, so there'll be more coming in the future as well. So, for example, we've selected this modern um, option here. We'll just navigate to settings, make sure we toggle this to on, save changes, and then we'll have our new streamline optimized checkout. OK, OK, so that was just a quick overview of how to enable the site cart and uh, streamline checkout. I'll leave a link on screen and in the description below um, to a more in-depth tutorial where I'll walk you through how to further customize your checkout and thank you page. And that's how you create an effective sales page using Elementor in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. 